Hey guys, all right. I did the test drive. I'm starting out first. Oh, and this is not telescopic. I like, guys. I like how the, I like that. Uh, what other features in the car, ah? Oh, there's, you know, there's a touch and go. Uh, oh, yeah, right? yeah, built-in nice. touch and go. Yeah, there's a built-in touch and go here. Yeah. Just show you just now. No, but I feel when I get inside the car, it's a very my V. My V had this. My V had this. My V is under you. Oh yeah, they because they built this car in Produa plant. Yeah. This car is yeah. built in Produa plant. Produa so actually belongs to Toyota. Oh, indirectly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The seats are so comfortable. I love the seats so much. Hey, I'm fat with rear passenger. Guys, let's see. Let's see. Ah, so it's going for a drive now. This one of those that you have to pull and, uh, down. And you have a button and here. The secondary button. Oh, Panera and make you monitor. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. damn, talking. What the heck? Yeah, they they do their throttle response like that. Yeah. Oh, so cool. This is how you so your panoramic so view you monitors this, this every time you touch, like this one, right? it gives you a different angle. Everybody moving up, here, right? and then you buckle like that. You don't worry about con, you just speak. Oh, it's your video, you're yeah. driving. So yeah. Yeah. Then to, to, what you call that, to unbuckle, you just put this It's thing. a very high car, I feel like it's a very, very high car. SUV. <gasps> oh, okay, while we are at it, Bing oh is God. trying out the 360 degree camera, check that out. Yeah, look, every time I press a button, it changes the angle. Oh, nice. So, where is the side camera? Okay, under the side mirror. Yeah, under the side mirror. Wow, okay. So One, two, three, four cameras. The the drive doesn't feel. I don't feel very planted. It's a very, very. Mm, okay. It's an SUV. Yeah. <laughs> and Bing, you come from an MX5. Never forget that. <laughs> yeah, never forget that. Every time Bing went up to a car, mm, handling so so. <laughs> Of course, it came off your MX5. MX5 wall. Hey, this road, yo, last time was very oh pretty, one, this place. Why are like they already now? Oh my god. Remember, I took the one series here. Oh, the engine feels talky, eh? It's very talkish. Low, low end gear talkish. You know, what's, you know what, Bing, you know what oh is the gosh. one thing it has in common with your MX5? Ah. Rear wheel drive. Yeah, it's a rear wheel drive. Ah. Oh, guys, but the brakes, they don't bite, man. It's like the Elsa all over again. <laughs> it's like you're like break, break, huh? What break? What break? What break? Oh, I'm trying to. Okay, guys, this is me accelerating. I'm really accelerating quite a bit here, but the car is. But the car is actually struggling to go up. One point five, right? Yes, it's a one point five, one o three PS horsepower, one three six newton meters of torque. Yeah, it's not a fast car. It's not a fast car. It's a sport. It feels, uh, yeah, it feels very high, very boaty. Yeah. But very what it really, well, but what's yeah, more important, right, yeah. is that if you are taking up on a slope, if you use gentle throttle, it doesn't feel <coughs> that it's struggling. Does it have that? Does it feel like that? Or does it like, when you move, it feels like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I think at low end, uh, when you slowly, progressively uh, accelerate, you don't feel it. You feel that there's the power there. But it does look like a very good car. I must admit, it's a very good looking car. It is, it is. Very, so nice. Much. <laughs> very, very nice car. But yeah, it's a very high car. I feel very boaty in this car. Quite, quite fun to drive. Okay, maybe the roads are very nice now. Okay. <laughs> nice. I'm quite surprised. It's quite quiet inside here yeah. because the doors were actually pretty light so I wasn't sure how the soundproofing of the car would be. Oh, you're not bad all. It's not yeah, bad. Like you're it out, not bad. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going up here so I'm just going to... Oh, there's a suspension. Okay, so when you progressively throttle, you can go up slope but this degree of slope isn't that inclined. So it's pretty easy. But the body roll on this thing... How does it feel, Con? It's alright, it's alright. Okay. But the seats are very comfortable, la, so. Uh, <laughs> mine is lacking a little in thigh support. Okay. Con is lacking in thigh support. Second row for a seven seater shirt. Yes, it's expected, yeah. I just, I just realized my XC90 second row, mm. same like the XC40. Ah, the, really? Yeah. The bench. Ah. Because it's a seven seater, ah, so yeah, the XC60's right. second row, right? Actually, more comfortable than the XC90 second row. This car feels very fun, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to get out of here. Because like X5, you have a 5-seater and 7-seater configuration. Yeah, yeah. 
so apart on this car, I actually do feel like the MX-5 because it's a 4x4 and my MX-5 is a 4x4. So when I turn, you can feel it's like wee wee. Wheel drive. Yeah, wheel drive as well. Is it 4x4? <laughs> no, because my car, the height oh, of the my right car. Oh, the right height yeah. of your car. Ah. So when I drive with this car, I kind of have the simi a similar feeling where my car is like, oh, it's trying to turn and then the butt is coming out a bit. Oh, yeah. please don't, 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 please don't do that with this car. Look, I will feel it. <laughs> Yeah. But I think it's really not a bad product at all. Yeah. For this price, for a big yeah. family car. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if you are coming from an Alza, mm. right? Mm. This is a, a legitimate upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. This, you got real air con, that's good. Yeah. Real blowers, lah. Huh? You know how these blowers work, right? It, why? Once you so turn it on, this yeah, one is... So it sucks, that, that top wet, yep. it directs cool air up, yep. then it sucks air in. Then here, there's another blower unit that sucks air in. So that's why they can be able to deliver cool air to the back without needing to pipe the second aircon unit. Clever. Mm. Very clever. I think the Vertiga and the BRV has a similar, that's the same solution also. Ah. Uh, I wish the outlet there had the same. Okay, I kind of feel this car is a bit underpowered. It feels, a, yeah, it feels like it's struggling to actually go uphill. Like even right now, Must I'm progressively no, <laughs> I'm progressively throttling, but it seems like it's struggling to actually climb. Uh, it's a four-speed automatic though. I'm trying to overtake right now. Okay, you wouldn't have the confidence to overtake with this car because it's quite long as well. Unrest, but this is something you can install after market. Guys, I'm not sure if you heard, but you can hear how much the engine is actually screaming when I actually throttle. It's not a car that you can go fast in. It's a pretty fun car to drive though. Maybe you call it the flotiness lah, huh? Fun to drive because of the flotiness. I've heard everything now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can see I'm trying to catch up to the rushes in front. Yeah, I'm actually rushing to catch up with the rushes. I'm going at 100 and the soundproofing I wouldn't say is the best but it's not too bad it's not bad not yeah, the is not bad. it's not too bad you still can hear what's going on outside and I kind of like that rather than having a car that soundproof is so good that you don't even know when you're passing when a motorcycle is passing you oh, nice nice okay I like driving in convoy so this is pretty fun Nice, I like the visibility of this car as well. Well, of course, it's an SUV, so for female drivers, you would definitely love it because you can see everything, and the back visibility is great as well. Daytime running lights, not sure you can see the reflection of the rush in front, it's reflecting my daytime running lights. Maybe I'm going to the right. Are they driving so fast? Uh, no, that's 
what do you what can you test when you're driving like that? Right? Yeah. For a car like this. Yeah, because this is like a family car, everyone's supposed to be exactly. comfortable. Exactly. You're supposed to have a good time, you know. Enjoy exactly. spend time with your family while going on a drive. That's what a drive is all about. It's yeah. not really about the speed and if you're trying to Oh, not, not supposed to be. Yeah, if you're trying to go so fast on this type of car, no, no, guys, no. But any case, yeah, 140, not too bad. <laughs> oh, but I'm trying so hard to catch up with them. Well, I'm being good, nah. Just drive as, as fast as you think is possible. Yeah. You feel comfortable. Yeah. All right. The news: the rear seats have angle, have a recline adjustment. Oh, you can. Uh, I still stick to what I said. I, st I still think the infotainment system is a bit small for such a big car. Oh, rejoice! It's the same infotainment as you get in the Camry. <laughs> really? Yeah. The same unified exactly ones for every single Toyota uh, model. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So here at the back, another feature to highlight: the rear seats have recline adjustment. So. You know, I can relax while Bing tries to keep up with the motor in front. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the brakes you really have to push in quite a bit before it actually bites. Which is the total opposite of Honda brakes, because Honda brakes bites once you just look back, okay? Prefer these brakes, but I would love if the bite would be a bit earlier. How the engine sounds when I try to wrap the transmission is it's Who's that? Truck truck going quite fast as well. But it's not a bad looking car. I mean if you look at look in front, I specifically like the one in front, the colour of the rush in front. It's not any similar colour. It looks kinda like a British racing green, it's kinda like a British racing green. It's very unique. Not the standard ones that you see. And uh, yeah, okay, so right now we're traveling at a speed of 90, 100, comfortably. Uh, but it doesn't have adaptive cruise. Okay. Kind of looks off like the predecessor of the Fortuner, just because of the taillights. Oh, 
just stop here, hmm. pretend you're looking at something else, mm -hmm. then your car will let you know that the car in front has. From departure one. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, like the MyV, yeah. this has front departure warning. So, if the car in front moves off, right? And you are still playing with your phone, chatting with your girlfriend, watching porn on, on Red Tube. <laughs> right? So the car will just warn you. Uh, okay. Ah. So there was a beep uh, yep. that warned you that the car in front has moved off. Yep, there was a beep which told me that the car in front. But it's a, it's very subtle though. Very subtle. So I, I don't think I don't think it needs to be this subtle. I think it can be louder. Mm. So that you're like, oh shit, I need to no, go. It's to remind you that you just missed the traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very subtle. Let's say I have my music on and I'm a person who likes to listen to music, I have my music on. I don't think I would have been able to catch that. I'd be like, huh, what's that? Mm. Huh, nothing ah. They're like, alright, I'm supposed to go. But I guess it does catch your attention. It's like, huh, I heard a beep. But then again, I might not even have heard the beep. Yeah, pretty uh -huh. torture warning. Okay, so. My verdict from driving this car, right? It's a very tall car. Suspension is nothing to shout about. It's it's comfortable. Because like Con said, it's a leather frame. So leather frame are usually on 4x4s is on Hilux's Tritons. So the suspension tends to be a bit stiff. But it's the bong. Oh, okay. Because it's supposed to tahan lasa, you know. But yeah, it's a very nice car. It's very comfortable. Very simple. But I think that's what Toyotas are going for. It's a very simple car. It's a very nice car to drive. Um, and not to say it's a very fun car, but it's a car that everyone can drive. You know, your mother, your 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 your, your your brother, your sister, whoever, anyone can drive this car and it's very easy to drive even though it's a rear wheel drive so there's still that fun factor in it and uh, it's a very comfortable car for the driver like, at least and uh, the build quality, I wouldn't say it's amazing it's so-so but yeah, uh, visibility is great and uh, yeah, that's my turn, that's all, bye guys a lot of so-called so-called uh, crossovers. You you dare to take this take them on this kind of road, ah? Uh, uh, like your CRVs, your CX5. You dare to take on this and drive like this, ah? Uh? You don't. With the rush, you can. <laughs> Those cars also can. Uh. It's just you. You more young. Young. Yeah. <laughs> more sad, young. It feels so comfortable. Right. It right, feels right, so right, comfortable, yeah. even though you're on this type of road. Yeah. And it actually, yeah. It's quite uneven, but I feel so comfortable like, yes. oh, okay, yes. there's nothing much going on, huh? Oh, we off-road, ah, huh? okay. I thought it was normal, you know, yep. KL yep. roads, huh? It's very comfortable, the suspension yeah. deals with it really well. Yeah. I'm surprised! Yeah, yeah. yeah this is I'm a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, this, this is out of our expectation, right? Yeah. We would expect a lot of judges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're done with the test drive, and the rush, like any other Toyota, it's like when you bring your boyfriend back You'll be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm happy lah, you know It's like, oh okay, I know like This guy can take care of my good girl And I know that he has what it takes to make sure she's happy and whatnot But it's not the type of guy that will give you excitement And like, wow And adventure You know, you go hiking Paragliding, skydiving is the one that will like mm, be home by 10, okay? Yeah, I'll make sure I will bring her home. Yeah, that's how the rush is. Bye guys!